Do you get to a point where you're auditioning for a role and it's just like, it's, it's a piece of cake, like you walk in. I mean, now it's got to get to a point where you walk in and you don't get that nervous. I mean, I don't know. Auditioning, it never gets easier, really. But especially when you're first starting out, you know, it's like, you have no idea what you're doing. How old were you when you first started? I, I'm probably like 19. 19 um, years so it's old. been, you know, I've been getting, I've been doing this for like eight years now, but it's still, it's still a tough, tough time always going in. But when you're first starting out, you don't know what you're doing. You haven't developed relationships with any of these casting directors. And I, you know, one of my very first auditions ever, um, I went in, the audition itself, it went fine. And then the casting director, she says to me, um, can you slate for me real quick? So to slate basically means just to look into the camera and say your name, simple as that. It gives them a marker, so when they're looking and editing, they see, okay, exactly. all right, this is Ex Dave Franco, and 100%. there you go. percent So at the time, I, I wasn't aware of the terminology, so I, I, you know, I was like, I'm, I'm so sorry, what was that, just one more time. And so she's like, oh, just, just slate for me real quick. So what I hear is, can you sleep for me real quick? <laughs> so I'm like, all right. <laughs> When I get comfortable. <laughs> and she's like, no, no, no. I was like, what? So we have a good laugh. And, you know, as a, a little bit later when I'm leaving, she starts cracking up again. And she's like, I can't imagine what was going through your head when you thought I asked you to sleep. And I'm like, I don't know. You tell me to do it. I'm going to do it. I want a job. So. <laughs> I may have snored, may or may not have snored. Yeah, how good uh, was your sleeping? Was it like, oh, was that uh, kind of sleeping? Was it this kind of sleeping? Literally, I think I popped my arms out yeah. like that. Yeah, I'm gonna sleep now. <laughs> it was awful. That's funny. Um, all right, we have, uh, let's talk about warm bodies. Yeah. We, we have a, a, a clip for the movie, but very unusual premise for this film. Sure, yeah, it's, um, you know, it's a human girl who falls in love with a zombie. And, <laughs> all right, hear me out. <laughs> no, I like it. It's, not, I, you know, it's, it's, it's funny. It works on a bunch of different levels, but it's just, when you, when you first hear the pitch. Of course, A of zombie course. is someone who's been dead for a while. Totally, I'm with you, I'm and with you. the girl's you. like, he's hot. <laughs> it's, um, it's one of these movies, yes. On paper, it's, it sounds, sounds a little strange, but you throw in a director like Jonathan Levine who yeah. did this movie called The Wackness and then this movie 50-50, so I've been a huge fan of him. And he's one of these guys who, I, I, I wanna make my own films one day, you know, with these Funny or Die movies. It's like mm -hmm. a, on a smaller scale and I wanna make my own films. And I just wanna be around these guys that I've admired and I just wanna sure. just see his process and how he works with actors. And he really did make it unique, you know. It's really funny too. It's got actors like Rob Corddry. Yes. Who's just hilarious and it's awesome. I'm really proud of it. I'm barely in the movie, but I'm here promoting it. I love it. Yeah. I've never heard, I gotta say, I've been, <laughs> I've been doing this a long time. I've never heard someone say, I'm barely in the movie. I don't know. <laughs> so if you like me, see the movie. Cause I'm not in it. That's fantastic. Now you like this, go and see that, but you won't see this. Again, first, first late night talk show appearance. First late night talk show appearance. I love it. Uh, all right, what do we need to know for this scene? Are you at least in this scene? I hope so. Are you? Uh, <laughs> Choose from, but uh, this scene, as far as I know, <laughs> I hope you're not in this scene. That would be so great. <laughs> Please don't be in this scene. Please. Please don't even be the right movie. Please. <laughs> that would be so great. Uh, so let's hope that it's the scene where. Uh, it's a, it's a group of soldiers going out to get medicine to bring back to their camp, and there are zombies looming nearby. I don't even think that, all right, let's take a look. <laughs> did you hear that? I did. We should bail. Oh, hey, we can't just bail, we have orders. Do you have any idea how much medicine the city goes through a month? We need pharma salvage to survive. We can't just God, abandon our- I'm just like my dad. Thank you. Yeah, it wasn't a compliment. Oh, here, guys. Take some Prozac. Maybe that'll cheer you up. I told you I heard something. Perry? We have orders, Jules. There's was nothing anyway. You're being paranoid, okay? Perry! <laughs> 